All right, I got this Flynn Wallen pump here. I'm gonna rebuild it for y'all. First, I'm gonna get this test cock valve out of the way. Uh, this was put in to make priming easier. And when you run it, you can... See that water's coming out of it. I will reuse it probably. I gotta just get it out of the way. A um, couple of tools you're gonna need, 9 16 wrench. Uh, 916 ratchet is gonna make it easier. I have an impact with a with a socket on the end of the impact. Uh, you will need some Teflon tape. Uh, crescent wrench is always good. And then uh, the ratchet said, like I said, I'm gonna. You'll see me take a little bit more time on these back bolts because I don't have a ratchet with me. I'm gonna pull the suction line out and disconnect this suction line. Come on. There we go. Be real careful not to lose. I love these cam locks for these pumps. And I'm gonna get a bunch of water out here. A little pond sludge. So this pump, I'm under the assumption that somebody didn't take the bottom plug out. Look brand new. And these other plugs, you can tell somebody's been on them with the channel locks. And uh, the bottom one, somebody has not So I'm gonna say right now, make sure the, pump, pl the power to the pump is off. Uh, that it's unplugged. I'm gonna check my circuit breaker right here. That is an indeed unplugged. My controller is off. I got my power off at my breakers. All right. So if you guys have never done this before, you are also going to need the paper gaskets. This is the the call. I call this a call. It's a different part. You'll have to look it up. Um, but you're going to need the call for the sake of the video. I will call it the calling. Um, a small chisel and a hammer will also help you in your quest. Wire brush is not a bad idea to wire brush because you'll see some of these surfaces get pretty rusted. And then you will also need a gasket kit, which is the 131100, and this is the rotary seal kit with the friction ring and then the spring and everything else. Uh, do we still got you in frame? We do. So I'm going to just start going at it. These bolts will go all the way through and all the way back. Um, I'm going to take the bolts out, set them aside. You will still need to tighten them and you may have to break them by hand. By the way, I was skeptical of this pinning socket, but it, it works, I guess. Now you can see that that's pretty stuck. Um, Rubber mallets are probably, but I've never, yeah, this is a two stage, I believe. Come on. These get pretty rusted together. Is that the one piece? Jesus been a while try to get some piece to move who there we got some movement there we go Still should be two impellers, but I might be pushing against an impeller. I'm pretty sure that this is. Yeah, I gotta get this. There we go.
some of these are one stage and two stage pumps. The one stage is gonna be a lot easier. And this is why you're gonna need the gaskets. Um, and I probably am missing the gasket. My other guy that's with me, I told him, hey, Wish it would come down. You want to remove as much of this gasket as you can. Like I said, a wire brush will really help on this. gaskets are a different material so here's the part once you get to this wheel or this impeller let me get a there's a nut portion but there's two flats on the back side of the drive shaft And then you just loosen the impeller. Because it tightens as it drives. Impeller one, I'm gonna set it back so I know what position it's gonna come back into. Some of you southern guys have maybe never needed to rebuild the pump or you rebuild it because sand, not because of freezing. But here, we got doofuses out there that don't. Take that seal out. Now, if you got any lube for this seal as well, like, uh, you know, it obviously doesn't need to be, it can be any kind of grease. Again, same thing. I want to remove all the loose parts. This paper gasket. Knock all the crud out. Get this other impeller out of the way. Same thing. Let's set the second impeller out of the way so I know which one's impeller one, which one's impeller two. Fuck me. The spacer. That off. This is gonna hold the spring. I got a new spring in the kit with the rotor seal. I don't think you get the spacer. No, you don't get the spacer. Now this rotary seal. Get out your good old Rainbird screwdriver. Because you do have to... There's some retainer clips. That you do need.
to get out of here. Okay. Never mind. I'm used to these clips here being bent up, but uh, we'll pull that off. The last step here. I'm gonna need an inch and a quarter coupling for this. I totally forgot. So I'm gonna have to take this out of here, or I'm gonna have to take the supply line out. But. Uh, We'll get back to you, take these four bolts out, not everything but the supply line is holding it in, and that'll come out. All right, I'll get back to you with the, with the assembly video next.